Hi, I'm Susan Feniger, and I'm here in Aspen, very excited about my new cookbook coming out, Susan Feniger's Street Food. Hi, Nancy Spears with GenConnect.com, and I'm so excited today to be talking to Susan Finneger, who's um, a renowned author, amazing chef, and a media personality. Hi, Susan. Hey, how are you? It's great to be back here again. Fabulous. Wonderful to see you. So since I saw you, you've written a new book. Exactly. Well, I think, yeah, last year we had just opened Street a little bit before that. So this is the new Street Food Cookbook. It's Susan Finneger's Street Food. And then it's got this great tagline, which of course I never can remember, like crispy, creamy, crunchy, sweet, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But it's great. Very excited about the book coming out uh, July 17th. So I'm jazzed. That's great. Well, we're, we're excited too. Tell us more about it. What's, what's in the book? So it's all, I mean, of course it's based after our restaurant street in Los Angeles, Hollywood area. But it's all global taste from around the world. So it may be street food. It might be something that's influenced from someone's grandmother cooking in the middle of the mountains in Turkey. So it's sort of influenced from everywhere all around the globe. Mm -hmm. And I think we just tried to make it where it was really accessible. What I'm really most excited about is my first book with food photography. I don't know why we never did a book like that before, but it's so beautiful. Jennifer May is the photographer and the photographs are just fantastic, like half-eaten plates, which I love, but really, I think very easy recipes, but still very eclectic, very ethnic, so I think people will be able to feel like they're branching out. But everything that can be done with specialty ingredients can be done with just ingredients that you get at the grocery store. So if you can't get pandan leaf, you just use ginger. If you can't get curry neem leaf, you just use cumin seed. So I think we've tried to make it so someone who's living in the middle of America could do this if they didn't have a specialty store. But online you can get everything now. So Exactly, but it's really a great idea because when you think of street food, you think of simple, right? Simplicity. Yeah. And then, you know, then you go, oh my God, how am I going to make that? So yeah, you, no, you've solved true. that. It's true. There are, there's those things like bel puri, the Indian puffed rice salad, and mm -hmm. you think it's just, you know, one little thing, but it's many little ingredients. But, you know, I find that it's all about, you learn techniques, whether you're making a stew or you're making a soup or a curry. You tweak a few little things, and you have this very interesting dish. So it's not really that complicated. It's I think people have more fear about that than what's what's in reality. The work being done is very simple. Great. Well, I can't um, wait to uh, read the book. It comes out soon. When? Yeah, July seventeenth. Totally jazzed about it. Fantastic. I wish we had it for here, though. That's okay. People are just going to have to wait. It, yeah. it, it's going to make it better. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so, all right, so more about the book and Susan. You can find Susan on GenConnect.com and also your website. Yep, it's uh, eatatstreet.com, or of course you can go to bordergrill.com, but eatatstreet.com is where you go to actually go to the street website, the cookbook website, find out what we're doing, you know, products we're working on, new product line we're playing with, so we're very jazzed about that. Fantastic. Well, you're a busy lady. You've got great energy, and we wish, we wish you all the best. Thank you so yeah. much. It's great to be here again. I'll see you next year, I hope. Absolutely. Okay, Thank great. You. Okay.